What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back with another really cool prototype slash kind of completed build that has kind of been requested a little bit and that is of course this sort of Mario Kart style go-kart with a few special features. Now about a week ago I got a comment which said I wonder if you could make a cart that drifts like the Mario Kart does and that really inspired me to sort of come up with this build which really has two functions of the Mario style carts which of course is the ability to bunny hop and then drift through a corner and the second ability is to get power-ups now because this is scrap mechanic I thought well there's only a couple power-ups we can really have one power-up of course being the ability to shoot and we can just shoot spud guns forward kind of like a green shell and then the other power-up which we can do pretty easily in scrap mechanic is the ability to have a booster so before we look at this cart in all its glory we'll actually take a look just really quickly at how it actually works the entire cart you can see is a little bit of a jumbled mess but luckily i was able to actually contain the entire circuit for a cart within this on its own so the entire thing works within just one cart you don't have to have any remote controls or anything like that so it's really quite nice now really simply to do this whole setup we've got this thing here now if we press one one is actually our bunny hop drift and you can see it's moving that little controller piece there but of course we don't actually have any bunny hopping and there's no drifting going on and how the drifting works really simply is we have a velocity meter on the cart which detects if you're moving sideways and when you press and hold one, as long as you continue to hold one, it will continue to maintain that drift as long as you're actually drifting sideways. And it does, it activates some boosters to help out with that. But if you let go of one, it'll release the drift. And then when you press one again, it'll bunny hop and cause you to see that drift. You'll see when we get into the cart, it kind of works. And then the second feature is the power up feature, which really took a lot of the circuit. And to do that, we have sort of, you can see these two colored discs up here, which we can rotate. Now, the yellow disc is really simple. It's just a constant boost. So you can see whenever that sensor, that color sensor picks up the yellow color, it'll just constantly give us boost on the cart. And really simply, the carts have a sensor that looks up. So you kind of put the question mark blocks, the power up blocks and stuff above it. And it's really quite easy. And then on the other side of things, we've got the red. Now, the red gives us our power up which if we press two right now is actually a boost power up. And then you can see it actually will reset the circuit. Of course, I didn't put any indicator lights on this circuit because I'm dumb. But really simply, when you go over the red, it picks a random number between zero and one. If you get the random number on the one side, you get up to three seconds of boost, which you can activate at the touch of the two button. And then you have a three second cooldown between abilities no matter what. And then on the other side, again, if we go back in front of that sensor, um we still got boost can we get the spud gun maybe no just have to wait again for that three seconds to be up there we go we've got the spud gun and you can see we've got three seconds of rapid fire shooting spud gun so really simply we take this entire circuit and we make it this tiny little circuit here which in turn becomes the entire base of this cart and then feeds in so now we've got these epic carts which of course we can drive around this world. Now I did just set up the multiplayer Monday world. This is one of the worlds we did, I believe for the random gravity race, but I encourage you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Once you see this cart drive, what you think now of course you'll be wondering well why are there spud guns well you'll see there's explosives here on the side from the mod pack and over here and over here and so if we actually aim and you hit that you can blow up the enemy cart and they'd have to spawn a new cart so really simply you know it's kind of not exactly like flipping them over but if you have the spud gun power up and you can hit somebody you're good to go you get two in the front there at the right height so you kind of have to you know try and hit either the explosives on the side or on the back but uh we can just drive our cart and it has a nice little stance. Now, of course, it is scrap mechanic physics, so the consistency is not always there. You can see, though, the drift corners, really, really quite awesome. So we'll try and do a lap of this course. I set up some boost areas, and I set up some red sort of question mark box areas. Now, of course, I don't have any opponents right now. I'm not really playing in multiplayer, so getting the spud gun power-up is pretty much useless. But it is a 50-50 chance of the power-ups. You can see the two lights on the back indicate when you have a power-up. So if the yellow light is lit up, you have the boost power-up. And if the red light is lit up, you have the spud gun power up. Of course, all the colored pieces above are actually done with glass. I did that just so you don't have all these crazy shadows on the course. But really simply, the yellow glass and the red glass, you can kind of tell the difference. The red glass is definitely darker. And if we turn and bunny hop, you can see we can kind of slide into that. We get a booster that comes out in either direction. And one forward and one sideways to help sort of maintain that drift. And you can see... You kind of get that Mario Kart drifting sensation as long as you continue to hold the one button. If we let go of one, you'll see it shuts off the thrusters even though we're still turning. Press one, it gives you that little bunny hop initially, which kind of helps throw you into the drift. 
and then you know it uh it senses which direction you're drifting in and kind of helps you out with some boost so really cool stuff i really like that feature it's kind of like a drifted boost and it is faster to drift and boost than it is to just turn the corner normally so that's a really really cool thing that i like about this if you are racing with your friends for whatever reason you can just drift through a corner and it actually will give you that boost of speed because of the thruster advantage so really really cool stuff and then of course when you get the yellow boosters the thrusters on the back and all that and uh i mean it's just me so i guess it's a time trial i've never really done this full course start to finish so we'll just go here we'll see how it goes and uh, of course we get the boost pad here and oh that oh too far too far yeah oh, that great perfect that was uh too far that's okay we'll just put on the lift so this is the red now there is no sort of you know, I know in Mario Kart, there's like the randomizing and it goes, you know, cycles back and forth between the various items. It doesn't really do that here. It just picks an item right away and tells you what it is. See underneath that boost pad and uh, we'll just fire off these spud guns just to get rid of it. Now we do have a three second cooldown so you can see I can't get an item within three seconds of using a previous item. So that's sort of a built in thing. Each item has a three second time for running and then a three second cooldown. You can see boost over there question mark over here oh another i want boost man give me more boost and of course i'm completely forgetting to drift all these corners so here we go let's let's drift into this one. Oh, that was such a bad entry oh well we got an item we got more boost more boost here oh oh perfect boost boost oh goodness okay this is these are bad of course it would be really cool to actually race this on a realistically scaled course. This uh, this is a multiplayer Monday course that was clearly built for bigger vehicles. Oh, look at that drift, though. Of course, I missed all the items, but definitely built for bigger vehicles. And racing these on a smaller course would definitely be a lot cooler. I really wanted to, when I was working on this circuit, I first wanted to work out the circuit and make sure the circuit would work. But then I really wanted to make the cart really, really small and get that sort of authentic Mario Kart size. Now, of course, it does use the mod pack for the number logic and, uh, you know, the color sensor to be able to pick up the color that way. We could do this with two color sensors, but uh, fitting all the explosives and stuff uh, was really just a, a big pain in the butt. Plus, there's no sideways velocity sensor to sense the drift in vanilla. So that would have been a little bit of an issue. But of course... It, uh, it is a really, really cool build. I encourage you guys to check it out and uh, try racing with your friends. Now, there is no suspension on it because it is so small, so it's uh, it sometimes bounces a little bit. But again, I would love to see this on a course that's uh, more suited for the size. And that was an awesome little little boost there. Oh, we have a power-up. Let's just use that. See, you can see these, these hurdles are a little bit... A little, I think we're bottoming out on each hurdle. But of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you uh, think we should add more power-ups as well and what those power-ups could possibly be. I was really just trying to think, you know, how many power-ups could we do in Mario Kart that would be realistic. I mean, it's really difficult because of the fact that, you know, you're, uh, you're sort of limited with what Scrap Mechanic can do compared to, you know, Mario. For example, if we were to do a dropping power-up, like something where you pick up something and drop it, well, you could only really drop it once or twice and then you'd have to spawn a new vehicle to get more ammo for it or spawn ammo so i was thinking of that and you know other things like rockets and of course there's a huge space thing so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'm gonna keep uh, racing this i'm very terrible at driving you can see look at that drift though that's uh, my favorite part honestly is the ability to jump drift and we could of course add that drift meter to a car that we just want to drift with you know the press of a button for example you could have a button engage drift mode and really just hold it and it would auto drift i remember i did a car before in complete vanilla that drifted but you had to press a button to sort of toggle between when you wanted it to drift in each direction uh if we did it with the mod pack like this you could actually have it drift automatically in the proper direction without having to have you know a button in each direction so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I always love reading what you guys have to say, and I always love hearing your ideas about uh, how I can improve different builds or make completely new ones. Uh, just, you know, tumbling along the wall here. No boost or anything to the end here. Try and get this last drift. Can we see the random scrap mechanic bounces really hurt? All right, we can just straighten out here, do one more boost. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, no. Okay, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. Of course, we could always expand these carts if we added a remote control block to them and, and had it transmit data to a base station and each person was on a different sort of color or frequency. Because then we could have, you know, the cart sending and receiving data. We wouldn't have to have all the circuit on the cart and we could have a lot more circuit with, you know, a lot more functions. I think if we wanted more power-ups, that's probably how we'd have to do it, where we'd have to have all the power-ups 
separately done on some command and base station. But again, trying to figure out what those power-ups would all be. But uh, let's see what this does here. Ready? And uh, of course I missed. There we go. Perfect. You just have to hold the button and completely destroy it. And we can just spawn a new cart and again, do the same thing. So really, really cool stuff. I encourage you guys to check it out on the workshop. I will, of course, upload it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what improvements you think could be had. This is definitely just a prototype build. I think it's really cool. I think the... Why did that blow up? I do want to add more power-ups to this Mario Kart car because I think it would be such a cool build to have all sorts of different functions. At least like three or four different ones maybe, but I, I can't really think of what they would be. So I encourage you guys to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.